Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Welcome back, darlings. We are here in Holbrook, Long Island, and it's an event to celebrate a Gatsby Gala. And I'm here with one of the supporters tonight. He's going to introduce himself to the camera. Sure. Hi, I'm Mike Passantino. Uh, I'm on the executive board for the Suffolk County Council of Boy Scouts, and this is uh, our annual gala event, uh, Gatsby. We have this every year. We have about 150 to 170 people that come and support the Suffolk County Council of Boy Scouts. Uh, it's a great event. We have cars out front. People are getting dressed up, as you can see. Enjoying I got show. dressed up. Yes, you did, and we appreciate that. Thank you very much. And so every year we're putting on, um, you know, events. We have a cigar event. We have a golf outing, and we have our Gatsby as our biggest event. We're raising money to help the Suffolk County Council of Boy Scouts maintain their programs throughout the years. Tell us about the Suffolk County Council of Boy Scouts. What is that all about? So, obviously, the National uh, Boy Scouts. Um, we are in Suffolk County. I think we have about 8,000 families that are members of the Boy Scouts. We have a camp, 62-acre camp in Baiting Hollow, where the Scouts can go there. We have a mess hall. Uh, they go out and they learn, you know, um, how to be great young men and women because now it's not just about boys and girl scouts it's scouting in general and so it's getting to be co-ed and um, you know we're really doing a good job in supporting everybody here and it teaches them discipline it teaches them the hardships of life i mean life isn't always so easy and boy scouts is a good way of coaching a, a young boy or young lady in becoming an adult don't you agree Absolutely correct. And so, you know, common core values for us is just, you know, teaching young men and young women how to be respectful, give back to their communities. Um, we have Eagle Scout programs and programs that give them different levels so they could achieve more in life and prepare them for what life has to offer. Life is, like I said, it's not so easy. So this is a great way to teach young our youngsters how to, you know, embark on in the world. Now tell my audience, were you a Boy Scout? I was not a Boy Scout. Um, I'm also on the executive board for PinkTie.org, 
And so I brought Pink Thai and their organization into the Boy Scouts to help support us. Um, but you know, the people that are on the board, um, they're really compelling when you start to meet with them because they care so much. Some of them are in scouting and have been there for their entire life and others uh, just joined the board because of the people that are on it. Uh, we, you know, good common ethics and values is what we share. Tell us a little bit more about Pink Tie. I've gone to many of your events, as you know. Yes, I do. So uh, I'm very proud of Pink Tie. Uh, two of my closest friends, my brothers from another mother, Mike and Rich Cave, started it. Um, I think it's been 10 years now, maybe longer. Uh, they had lost their aunt to breast cancer, and that's where the organization started. We are 100% um, volunteer. It's a, a give back organization where our main mission is to show companies how to utilize their marketing dollars in a different way. Um, do good by doing well. And so we raise money for local organizations throughout all of Long Island and you know give back. We host events ourselves as you've been to and we appreciate it. Many of your events. Yeah and over the last ten years we've probably raised millions and millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Well yeah. you know I'm a breast cancer survivor. Yeah. I have breast cancer uh, almost 10 years ago and the doctor diagnosed me with stage 1 breast cancer and I said you know what take them both my breast off and give me bigger ones and he did yeah well you know what thank God that you're still here with us uh, and that's our, that's the whole mission of our organization is to find ways to give back to help support not just um, not just you know preventative maintenance but hey once ladies or gentlemen that, that get breast cancer, there's the aftermath once they have the surgery and the services that they're going to need. So we do a good job collaboratively with other organizations on Long Island to help support and bring resources to the men and women that really need it. Tell my always, when are you going to have this Pintai event? When, when is your next event? So I, I kind of mi I I miss know. Since COVID, it. Yeah, it's horrible. It's unfortunate, but since COVID happened, uh, we've been planning. So, uh, you know, I can't speak on behalf of my, my partners and my brothers, but I'm pretty sure next year we're going to do something that's going to blow Long Island away. The last time you had an official event, tell my audience where it was. The last big event we had was at um, Crest Hollow Country Club. We had about 3,000 people there. We raised oh, well over a million dollars in one night. Remember Hulk Hogan was at one of That's your right. events. That's right. We had Hulk Hogan, uh, Super Bowl champion, local Long Islander Gary Brown, won a Super Bowl with the Green Bay Packers. At that time, Jimmy Lyrits, New York Yankees, World Series champion, 96-97. Uh, these guys are supporters of ours. They come out to all of our events. And, um, you know, we're, we're gracious, believe me, because we don't give them any money. They do it because they care about our organization, the people that belong to it, and, and we're grateful for it. Thank God you do such terrific work. And I always enjoy going to Pink Tie. It's well, thank you so because much. Because pink is my favorite color, <laughs> as you as know. You can see, yes, as ours as well. And so uh, we thank you for your support all the time. Tell my audience where can we go to learn more information about Pink Tie? You can go to uh, pinktie.org. Jump on the website. You know, during COVID, uh, I'll mention really quickly. While we couldn't have events anymore, Mike Cave quickly turned it around and saw the food insecurities on Long Island was a big thing. And so Pink Tie moved into the Pink Tie doorstep donation. We were picking up generous people that wanted to donate food to local Long Island pantries. We would send people out, pick them up on their doorstep. Every Friday we were going out visiting local pantries from, oh Jesus, from the furthest parts of Nassau all the way out to Greenport. Uh, we've hit 65 to 70 different pantries, some of them four and five times. We've been doing it since 2020 when COVID hit. How long you've been doing it? Really? Yeah, and we're still doing it now. Every two weeks, we're out visiting pantries. Um, we typically give them a check for $1,000, the food that's collected, and then, you know, our Pink Tie Nation. They come out and support us, and we all bring food, and uh, it's humbling. You know, we do the easy part, they do the hard part. When you have 300 people that are showing up every week that you have to feed, and we roll up and there's a line of cars waiting for us, it's humbling to know that, you know, we live on Long Island where it's expensive to live, and there are so it's many very expensive. Still... I, uh, what's going to happen with the heating bill this year? Oh. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, unfortunately, um, it just is what it is. We're going to have to do our best. And we're there. Pink Tie is there every week to lurk. Through the help of Vision Long Island, they put us with the local civic organizations who tell us who what pantries really need the most help. How many years has Pink Tie been in existence? 
we started in 2012, I think was our first event. Was ten, of about 10 yeah, years. It's been 10 years. 2012 was our first event, and um, we can't wait to get back to it. Believe me, we know Long Island's waiting for one. I'm waiting for one. I got. A, I have the perfect pink outfit, all set up to wear to your next gala. We'll be sure you get the first invitation. Now tell my audience a little bit more about this, about this Suffolk County Council, about their website. Do you know what their website is? Yeah, SuffolkCountyCouncil.org. Um, and you can jump on there if you love to help support. Uh, check out our camp. We have a 62-acre camp in Baiting Hollow. It's amazing. Uh, we just built a uh, brand new facility for the, we call it the Andrew McMorris Lodge. Unfortunately, uh, most people know a few years ago, we lost one of our scouters, was hit by a uh, drunk driver. And in honor of him, we built this beautiful facility that holds uh, 20 youths, uh, women, uh, and 20 um, male. Um, and you can come to the camp and you can spend a weekend there and it's really, it's, it's an amazing place. It sounds fabulous, it really does. Now, if we want to follow you, where can we go? I like do, Are you on Instagram? No, I don't do any of that. You don't do any <laughs> social media at all? I do it all through Pink Tie. Everything okay, goes through Pink Tie and Tide in Media for us, yeah. Well, darling, it was a pleasure interviewing you. Thank you so Let's much. Let's air kiss. It's a pleasure. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Walla Lane, and we are here in Holbrook at a Gatsby Gala. And I'm here with one of the big supporters of tonight's event. She's going to introduce herself to the camera. Hello, it's Joanne Cave. Joanne, we know that you are a, a big supporter of this event. Tell us why you are a big supporter. Well, I'm representing an organization that I is very dear to my heart. My husband was one of the founders, Rich Cave. And Pink Tie is very supportive of Long Island-based charities that do terrific work. And the Boy Scouts is certainly one of those organizations. Now you have kids, right? I do not, actually. My, my kids have paws. <laughs> oh, okay, my kids are... You're right, my kids have paws, too. I have, I have a teacup poodle named Gigi. But we, we love our youth, and we think that all of our youth should be Boy Scouts because they are a wonderful organization. They teach young people, young men, young women, the right things to do in life. It prepares them for adulthood. Am I right about that? Yes, I do agree with you. It is a wonderful organization and sets a very clear and grounded path for youth to follow in the future and as they continue to grow and age through the program from people I know who have graduated and reach the high, high um, levels of the Boy Scouts, they it prepares them for wonderful things and later in life and it also opens up their opportunities for them to do wonderful things in their communities because while they are going through the program they get involved in and have to do fundraising and and help other organizations within their communities which is also a wonderful thing you are gorgeous tonight Tell my audience what you're wearing. This is stunning. This dress, this the, the fur, oh, you look very 1920s. Chanel number no. five. <laughs> well, that's how she got started. Chanel number no. five, right? But I want this you to. This is just a little something I had hanging around the closet. <laughs> gorgeous. Tell my audience where can we go to find out more information about Pink Tie? What's the website? The website is pinktie.org. And let's air kiss. <laughs> and we'll be back with more interviews coming up. Keep watching Pink Champagne Kisses. Scouting opens up a lot of opportunities. I mean, you can do scouting anywhere. 
in a small town or in a big city like New York. We are teaching young people how to become better adults. And I think those better adults who have a scouting experience can come back and be great scout leaders. I'm extremely thankful for scouting, for igniting a passion in me for the outdoors and just exposing me to things that I didn't even know I love to do, that I do all the time now. I first got started in scouting in a co-adventuring crew. And really quickly I began to see the impact that scouting had on kids. When I see the scouts come in for the first time, a lot of them are new to the country, so it gives us an opportunity to show them what scouting has to offer. More importantly, their role as citizens here in the United States through leadership. Our trip's pretty diverse, and so it's really fun to see scouts who, their families don't have a history of camping or being outdoors, and they're new to the scouting program. It built a lot of my character and who I am today, who's really good into servant leadership and serving community service to our communities. One of the great things about scouting is just that it, it's a safe place to fail. One of the biggest gifts that we can give our son is the gift of independence, and scouting has provided that platform. My prayer is that when he is older, he'll, he'll say, thank you, Mother, for putting me in and scouting. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane. We're here at, in Holbrook at Villa Lombardi's, and it's a night, a, a fabulous night. It's a gala, a Gatsby gala. And I'm here with this gentleman who comes every year. You come every year, every don't year, you? Every year. And he's a, a big event. supporter of tonight's event. And his company, the Dime Bank, is a big sponsor of this event. Introduce yourself yeah, to the camera. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Nick Szymanski. I'm a private banker at Dime Community Bank. Um, and we love to support this event. There's such great people that attend this event. And we love to give back to the communities that we serve. Um, we have over 60 branches from Montauk to Manhattan. And a big part of our mission is to help the businesses on Long Island thrive and be the uh, primary bank to serve Long Long Island uh, and the boroughs from Montauk to Manhattan and very very happy. Fabulous. Well the Dime Savings Bank is a very prestigious bank. Tell my audience a little bit about your bank and why we should put our money in that bank. Yeah. Well uh, so, so Dime actually started in 1864 so the longevity of the name and the history behind the name has really been in everybody's ears since the 1800s, which is awesome, and, and I'm proud to say that I've joined the bank in 2019, and it's been an excellent, excellent experience for myself and my career and my clients that I serve, and what separates us is really the customer service that we deliver to our clients every single day. 
And your company feels that this is a very important cause, Boy Scouts of America. Were you a Boy Scout? I was a Boy Scout. I grew up upstate New York in the Catskills, but um, at a very young age was introduced to the Boy Scouts. I was uh, also part of the Nassau County Boy Scouts, uh, part of my career, and happy to be uh, part of the Suffolk County Boy Scouts and serve the scouting, the scouting world because they do great things and teach uh, little boys to become men and respectable men who have flourishing careers. Teach them be, to be tough because to be you got to be tough to be tough. survive right. in this world. And help help those in need. You know, give back to the communities. Be very philanthropic. It's it's very uh, very proud to be a part of the Scouts. What was your most challenging point being a Boy Scout? Well, what was the hardest thing they made you do? So my first uh, tell us the trip, story. Tell us the story. My first, my first trip as a as a scout upstate New York. Uh, th my my group took us to climb these cliffs, and I have a fear of heights. But I had a scout leader that was a strong leader and and pushed me to do it. And with the help of uh, my fellow scouts and that and that scout leader, I conquered that fear. So now when I look over a, a, a steep cliff or rocky uh, cliff, something like that, I know that I did this before and I can do it again. So it instilled that confidence in me. So you were afraid of heights. I was, I'm afraid of heights. I'm not a roller coaster guy. I usually hang I'm out. I'm not on either. I'm not either. I, I can't even get on a horse. Oh, horse. Okay. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, I know. Well, you're petite, so you just need a little boost, you know, and then, you know, I can tell you like to ride fast, though, you know, so you got to be careful. I like to ride fast, but I am afraid of heights, so I, I get that that you were afraid of heights. Because my cousin, she wanted to go horseback riding. She lives in LA and I almost got on the horse and then when I saw what I had to deal with I says ah yeah. no no way no way no way yeah. so that's amazing that you were able to overcome that fear of heights yeah. by being a boy scout yeah being involved in the scouts and uh, I grew up in the mountains upstate New York on 250 acres of land so I was always big at um, dirt bikes quads hunting Hunting, hunter safety, which the scouts taught me hunter safety, how to use a firearm safely, uh, target shoot, and, um, you know, how to build a fire, you know, was a big part so of that. You could survive in the wilderness if you had to. Sure, yeah, I, I've built uh, forts and camps, and uh, I grew up hunting, you know, that was my thing, so um, very familiar with the outdoors, love the peace and quiet and nature, so, uh, you know, scouting really brings that all together which is a great thing, plus uh, combined with banking, teaches you how to, how to uh, manage your money, manage your money, save your money, operate a checking account, you know, uh, apply for a credit card. You know, these are all important things to do at a young age. I have to talk to my husband about that. He knows all about finance. I can tell you Dime has the best credit card on the market. Zero percent for 18 months on both balance transfers and purchases. It's an excellent tool to consolidate that debt. What do you do at Dime? What's your job? Um, I'm, so I'm a vice president. I'm a private banker. My job is meeting with business owners throughout my day and understanding their business, how I can help them make money, how I can simplify their banking, reduce their costs, um, and make their banking more convenient so they can stay at their office and be with their clients to ultimately make more money to their bottom line. Do you invest in the stock market? Sure, yeah, I invest in My husband does, too. Oh, he does? Okay, good. My so, husband's a banker, too. Oh, he is? Okay, good. Well, he started out, but now he works for a private company. Oh. Okay. But he was a banker, also. Banker. See, listen, it's been a great career. I started at 17 years old as a teller. I was a bank teller in high school. I was good at math. My guidance counselor put me in a finance academy. Through that academy, they put me in rotations in different offices in my town. They put me at Marine Midland Bank which is now HSBC. And they gave me a cash box and said, have at it. So I helped clients make deposits, cash checks. Then they put me on the platform. I opened accounts and learned how to build relationships with clients. Fabulous. Tell my boys, where can we go to support 
the Dime Savings Bank. What's the website to find out more information? Sure. It's simply uh, www.dime.com. And you, on there, you can see all of the products, the services that Dime has to offer to differentiate us from the competition. Uh, just as important as having a private banker like myself, where you have my cell phone, my direct email. I'm your quarterback, primary point of contact at the bank. What about this event tonight? Do you know the website for this event? Oh, this Boy event. Scouts of America? Uh, yeah, boyscoutsofamerica.com.org. Yeah, 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 you can Google it. Uh, Google it. We will Google it. And you are fabulous, and thank you so much for doing that interview. Thank you. Don't go away yet. Let's air kiss. We'll be back with more interviews. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing fur dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh, ooh, I sip cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.